So Salvatore Cavallaro marching purposefully towards the boxing ring. This muscular, compact, powerful middleweight from Italy has won four contests out of four so far. A 3-2 split over Nurkanat Rais of Kazakhstan at the quarterfinal stage was an incredibly physical contest. And his opponent coming out of the blue corner is Cuba's Joan Luis Hernandez, 24 years of age, part of an eight-man Cuban boxing team. He too contesting in his fifth bout of Belgrade 2021. And it's been really impressive so far, eliminating Wanderlei Pereira of Brazil in the round of 64. Then Biro Aigon of Turkey, unanimous points decision winner over man who was celebrating his birthday summit of India in the round of 16. And then a 5-0 points decision, unanimous win over the reigning five-time champion of Croatia, Gabriel Viocic, bronze medalist in the Euro 2019 European Under-22 Championships, where he used body shots to very good effect. So, one of five Cuban medalists here in Belgrade 2021 from the eight men they sent is Hernandez Cavallaro. One of two Italian medalists from their 11-man team. And you can see the difference in stature during the course of the final instructions. The tactics clear as Nagi Osman of Egypt sends both boxers back to their respective corners. And we are underway, 75 kilogram middleweight action at the semi-final stage of the 2021 World Boxing Championships between athletes from Cuba and Italy. The man wearing red operating out of the South Pole stance is Salvatore Cavallaro, 26 years of age, from Catania, appearing in his fourth World Championship tournament, having been an ever-present since the 2015 edition in Doha. The man who just scored with a long right cross to the body is in his first World Championship go-round, and that is Yuen Lise Hernandez of Cuba. The man from Cambuy has acquitted himself very well indeed. Big, tall, strong middleweight, and he uses his attributes of range and reach well, as he did with that left jab, right hand to the body there. Good variety in his work. Now, Cavallaro, See him standing on the edge of punching range, but he can close the gap in a flash, and then he bursts away with quick punches, often claims his man so that nothing can come back once he gets into punching range. Incredibly strong, resilient, and possesses wonderful concentration. He's occupying center ring at the moment. Nice head movement from the man in red to slip that jab. This time it was the step back as Hernandez just looking to measure his man, but he did find the range with a backhand flicking jab, reminiscent of the Eastern, Eastern assassin Larry Holmes, who used that lead left hand to terrific effect. Cavallaro coming forward with winging roundhouse hooks, but couldn't find the range, only the arms of his opponent. Cavallaro on the front foot, both men standing flat-footed. Right hand lead is a beautifully picked punch from Hernandez beyond the midpoint of this opening round. So the watching and waiting continues, the fainting with the eyes, hands and feet as just defensive jabs being used. Southpaw left over the top, not too far away from Cavallaro, but the right hand of Hernandez landed altogether more solidly behind a left jab, which set the shot up from the man in blue. So nice movement with the feet from Hernandez, Cavallaro didn't keep the attack going and while Hernandez was, had his back to the ropes, Cavallaro was beyond punching range because it was a single phase attack. And there's the right hand to the body that Hernandez has used to such good effect, scoring shot, an investment to slow the man down in later rounds. Picks that punch very well. Both men looking to be explosive. Just after the disengagement, Hernandez was looking to turn a right uppercut into the serratus just beneath the armpit of his opponent. Good left hand to the body from Cavallaro. Hernandez coming forward behind a triple jab, but no real range in terms of effectiveness. But there certainly was on that second left hand, just causing Cavallaro to lose his boxing stance momentarily. Ten second clapper has sounded. Cavallaro again with the expressions and the activity as he comes forward. Shots exchanged after the bell. I happen to think that's a good round for the man in blue. 
Agreed, agreed. He, he raided in with that right hand. He's got quick, quick hands. And for the most part of that round, what we saw was Hernandez leading off. Cavaliero, for the opening part of it, the opening couple of minutes at least, almost allowed that to happen. And it's Hernandez who's got it across the board, 10-9. So the problem with that for him is that he can't really allow the Cuban to punch first because if he's going to try and trigger him and then come over the top of it with a left hand, which is what he was looking to do at times, the Cuban's hands are too quick for that. So I think as he did in the final minute of the round, Cavaliero has got to try and lead off himself, close that gap himself, because he can do it. As you mentioned, he's very explosive and he's got fast hands himself. So I think, I hope anyway, in the second round here, we'll see more of what we saw in the final minute there, which is Cavaliero not waiting for Hernandez, and looking to throw his hands first himself. So we move into the second round then. Both boxers quickly out to centre ring to begin this second three-minute frame. Cavallaro conceding the opening round unanimously. There he takes a hard right hand to his chest plate from the man in blue. And right in the opening 20 seconds, Cavallaro is looking to get busy, but now it's the posturing and the fainting from beyond punching range. Nice head movement to make the man in blue miss. And now he just stands with that backhand cocked, locked and loaded and ready to unleash. Always gives the impression that he's about to do something explosive and violent at short or mid-range. But again, won't want to be too circumspect given that he was out-punched and out-scored in that opening round. Now, this is another angle, another wrinkle to the skill set of Hernandez. The 24-year-old has taken one national title in Cuba, and that was way back in 2015 in the 60-kilogram white lightweight division as a youth. Now, there is a good forward foray from Cavallaro. Pinned his man to the ropes and got through with the southpaw left hand. And so as a result, there's very little international experience under the belt of Hernandez. But the man from the Caribbean island acquitting himself very impressively indeed in this, his world championship debut. Such strength in depth. Well, in all the Cuban weight classes, truth be told, but middleweight, there's going to be a whole line of occupants battling for that one jersey. Hernandez has got it currently, having won the national selection tournament in Havana last year. And that is why he's here, and he's boxed his way all the way through to the semi-final stage. Cavallaro looking for a left cross over the top, dancing and darting in front of his man is Hernandez, and again, the clock in his, is in his favour. Cavallaro celebrating that set, but it was a roundhouse right which landed with the forearm, making it a forearm shiver from the wrestling ring. Good head movement from Cavallaro to make the man miss. Hernandez momentarily southpaw. Cavallaro with plenty of experience under his belt comes to the ring as the reigning European Games silver medalist and took Continental Championship bronze in 2017, as well as this being his fourth appearance in the World Championships. Again, pivoting those feet on the attack to make it a southpaw right jab, did Hernandez. And again, here's the watching and the waiting and the imminent threat from Cavallaro as he continues to show good head movement, slip the jab, but that one did graze him with the backhand from Hernandez, as did that right cross. Cavallaro again, emphasizing his attacks with those cries, but watching and waiting, he's picked off by a left hand to the stomach there and nothing came back. Nice head movement once again from the explosive man wearing red. But despite his best efforts, I think he did better, but I'm not sure he did enough in Agreed. that second round. Agreed. I think he had a better round. I think he did look to do what we suggested he might, which was take the fight to Hernandez a bit more, try and lead off a little bit more. But having said that, the Cuban fighter really had an answer for everything that Cavaliero attempted. And, and that's been the case during the fight so far. And so clear water now, two rounds to nil on all five of the judges' scorecards. I'm not sure there's an awful lot more that Cavaliaro can do here, to be honest with you. I don't want to be too critical of him. He does have a lot of speed himself. He closes that distance well, and he's got fast hands. And against the majority of people he boxes, he will have the superior hand speed. But unfortunately here, he doesn't. And what it means is, is that he's up against an opponent who, unfortunately for him, is just a bit better than him in all departments. And so if he brings his A game, which he is, it makes it very hard to win. So into the third and final round then. Sporting touch of gloves.
between the two boxes to get this final frame underway. And it is an aggressive start by Cavallaro, who's bombing away with that backhand to the body, looking to aim for the sternum and the chest of Hernandez, but he's keeping his composure magnificently. Well, the two men voguing in front of one another there. I'm not quite sure what was taking place. There's a thriving nightlife scene here in Belgrade. I don't think either of these two men have enjoyed it, but they're certainly throwing shapes on the canvas of the boxing ring with 30 seconds gone. Well, after that interlude, let's see how many punches are exchanged or at least thrown, because my goodness, both men with some terrific rhythmical movements up there beyond punching ranges. Again, Hernandez looking to distract his opponents with his body popping once more. Minute gone in the third and final round. Good left hand scored from Hernandez. A thudding left came in from Cavallaro, but it was a roundhouse left with the inside of the glove once again and only found the arm of his opponent. Mentioned his continental successes in recent times as Hernandez scores with a good right hand to the body, then left jab upstairs. And in both the 2017 semi-final of the European Championships and the 2019 gold medal bout of the European Games, beautiful left, right from Hernandez. Cavallaro bulldozing his way back in, trying to find a range, but he's only fl fed another flicking right hand before Hernandez goes walkabout. But in both of those medal contests, as Cavallaro scores with a good left hand, it was Alexander Kizniak who got the better of him. Remember, the man from Ukraine was undefeated in the entire Olympic cycle was two rounds to the good against Conceicia, against the man Herbert Carvalho from Brazil in the gold medal bout. Continued to press in his characteristic style. Walked on to an absolute dynamite hook. Dropped to the canvas, got up too quickly, staggered around the ring, and the referee stopped the contest. So he came away with Olympic silver. That is the man who has accounted for Cavallaro in continental championships in the last Olympic cycle. Well, Cavallaro really is pitching still. He believes he can win. He's going for the shot that he thinks will bring about the, the win. But Hernandez showing wonderful composure. Look at the way he's able to slip that shot. He was caught by a left hand to the body. Cavallaro continuing to press, just increases the distance as I say that. Roundhouse right was easily avoided by Hernandez. But Cavallaro still in there pitching. He's given an awful lot in this contest. Breathing through a wide open mouth, but he's still in there, hoping to time a shot to perfection. So for Hernandez, as the 10 second clapper sounds, he's just got to keep his concentration. Because again, we've just given a perfect example as to what can happen when concentration is lost for a minute with a boxer in front by a country mile. That hasn't occurred here. We've made it through to the final belt. And surely it will be Yoenlis Hernandez of Cuba who goes through to the gold medal bout, leading 20 points to 18 coming into the final round and really boxed very impressively in that final three minutes once again. He did. He boxed very impressively throughout the course of the, the nine minutes. Sometimes you just get a contest where one fight is just that bit better than the, the other one and it doesn't matter particularly what the other one attempts. It's just not going to make all that much of an impact. And that was the case there. And I don't say that to be disparaging of of the Italian in any way because he brought a good fight. He tried everything that he could. He's a very good fighter, but he was up against somebody a bit better than him and at elite level, at any level, that happens sometimes. There's no shame in it. And there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for your Enlis Hernandez of Cuba. He goes through to contest championship gold and looking to continue Cuba's rich tradition in that division. Wonderful to see the sportsmanship between the boxers and the boxers and the coaches of their opponents. But what a wonderful moment for Hernandez. In his world championship debut, he will be appearing in the final. Salvatore Cavallaro, a fantastic tournament for him. His fourth appearance here at, on the World Championship stage, and he will have his name in the record books as the World Championship bronze medalist, and not to mention the 25,000 US dollar prize that goes with achieving that magnificent accomplishment. That's definitely going to soften the blow, isn't it? That, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a new development this year from, from Aiba. 2.6 million in the pot, 100,000 for a gold, 50,000 for silver, 25,000 for bronze medalist it'll be exactly the same at the the women's 
World Championships. There was a 10-8 in there in the final round, interestingly, from the Croatian judge. Good example of how you can get the 10-8 because Hernandez didn't bash Carvalho up for the for the three minutes in that final round, but he did dictate, and it was a dominant round win, and that's how you score.